How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech. Today we're going to be looking at some more PSP emulation on the Nintendo Switch on Android 10. As you can see we're on the PPSSPP emulator using the Vulkan backend. Frame skipping is enabled, set to auto frame skip, and the value is set to 1. The only other setting I had to adjust was the resolution. I went from 2x to 1x and that gave me the best performance. These settings are the settings that I used for all 23 games that I tested. And before I forget, I did also set Android into performance mode. Before we get into the gameplay, if you enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit the like and subscribe buttons, and that way you won't miss out on any of this emulation goodness. Now, let's check out some PSP emulation on the Nintendo Switch.
if they see you in their flashlight beams. Be ready to attack them. Press square to punch.
Whitestone Dais, among other things. A big rock, and she won't say why. Oh, well. Where would the suspense be otherwise? So I'd say PSP emulation performance on the Nintendo Switch on Android 10 is pretty good. I mean, you will have some games that run not as good, but overall, it's a mostly playable experience. You do get better performance if you run PPSSPP on Horizon. I have tried PSP games with PPSSPP, the standalone, in Atmosphere and SXOS, and you do get better performance. Now, it's not tremendously better, but it is better in a good amount of games. So for any of you that have done this, let me know down in the comments section if you prefer PSP on Android 10 on the Switch or if you prefer it on SXOS slash Atmosphere. Well, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope it was enjoyable and I hope everybody has a great day.